Hey what's up guys, back again with another video in the Spigot series. This time I'm going to show you how to make a simple teleport plugin. Love ain't meant for demons, baby. Love ain't meant for us. Yeah, yeah. She whispers that in my head. And she made it crystal clear. That her ain't no love. Alright guys, so um, this is going to be a simple episode. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a simple teleport plugin, which you can teleport players and stuff like that. Very simple. But uh, one of you guys requested it, I believe, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it, get it done, get it over with. And yeah, so let's do it. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is open this up. You know, let's see what we got here, the files and everything. And we have our main class, of course, but we need some other... Uh, well, let's make a new package, actually, so we can put our commands inside of. So commands. And inside of there, we're going to have a command for teleporting players, right? Very simple, so we'll just call it teleport. And we'll go, we need to ins uh, implement command executor. Oops, not that executor. There we go. And so then we need to implement the unimplemented method, which is the on command method here. And we're gonna go down and do return true. Make sure you always make it return true instead of return false. And so now that we have this, let's go ahead and start making the command. Okay. So this is basically gonna be a command where they can do slash tp space a player. And then it's going to teleport you to that player, right? Or we can do it where it's um, slash CP space player space another player. So it's going to teleport the first player to the other player, basically, right? Very simple. Something you might see with um, other servers. Pretty much every server has something like this. It comes from Essentials, which is a very popular plugin if you don't know it. But yeah, let's go ahead and do it, right? So, of course, we only want uh, players to execute this command because it's a... Well, you can't, you know, teleport a console, obviously, so that's kind of stupid. So, we want to make sure the player execute the, uh, executes this command only. So, um, if sender's instance of player, we'll check and see if a player is executing the command. And so, if a player is executing the command, then we're going to go ahead and do... Well, let's get an instance of that player so we can reference the player and then do stuff with it, like teleport it, right? So now that we have that, we need to make it so that we can uh, get the player that they want to teleport to, which is going to be done through arguments, of course. So if we do like something like this, slash TP Bob, this first thing here will be the first argument. And if we want another argument, that would be Bob2, which is the second argument. Okay, so first we, would, we just want to check and see if there are any arguments within our command, right? So if args.length is equal to, or yeah, if it's equal to zero, that means that there's no arguments, right? Meaning that they did, they did not provide any players to teleport to. So now let's go ahead, let's go ahead and tell them to provide an argument because of course we can't teleport nothing, right? We need something to teleport to, right? So let's do player send message and we're gonna do chat color red because it's basically like an error or something, right? So chat color red import chat color of course from the bucket and let's say let's say you need to enter some arguments, okay? And then let's give them some examples of what to enter. So chat color, let's do, let's do yellow. So chat color dot yellow. That's not how you spell yellow. Yellow, there we go. Now let's go ahead and say to teleport yourself. Wait. Oh my gosh, I can't even type. To teleport yourself, do slash tp other player. So this is the first argument here, which is going to be the other player that you want to teleport to. Or you could also do player dot send message chat color yellow and this can be used to teleport other players so we'll do um, to teleport others slash tp um, player other player okay so it's going to teleport the first player to the second player basically right very simple but that's how that's going to work so now let's go ahead and check and see if they provided any other arguments within the if statement so now that we've checked and see if they provided no arguments let's check and see if they provided one argument which of course is going to be this command here if they provided one argument, we can go ahead and assume they just want to teleport to that player themselves, okay? So if args.length is equal to 1, make sure it's double equals, of course, because you're not assigning, you're checking to see if it's equal to that. And so, yeah, we can assume since it has one argument that it's going to be that player that you want to teleport to. So let's get an instance of that player that they want to teleport to, right? So player target is equal to bucket dot get player. So now let's do args zero as the parameter right so what this is going to do pretty much is just get the first or get an instance of well it's going to make a new player object right so we may want to appear of course which is going to be the person who executes the command but now let's get an instance of the person we want to teleport to and we're going to call it target and what it's going to do here is do bucket dot get player which is basically a way to get an instance of a player through their name so we can provide a name here if you want to like bob but of course we want to get the name that they provided in the argument so we're simply going to get the first argument by doing args zero 
and zero is going to be the first argument, of course, because uh, it's an array, right? So now that we have an instance of the player that we want to teleport to, let's teleport to that player, obviously, right? So we can do that by doing player dot send or no player dot teleport, and now we can teleport to that player. If we do control P, we can see that the um, it's asking for a location, right? So let's go ahead and do target dot get location. So we know the location of where that player is. And so now we just teleport ourselves to the target location, basically, right? That's what that code do, uh, did. And so that's all we need for that. Pretty simple, right? So now let's go ahead and uh, add the other option, which is going to be um, an option for teleporting another player to another player, basically, right? So that will be if there's um, two um, parameters, right? So if there's two parameters, then we're going to our arguments, whatever you want to call it, then we can go ahead and do, well, let's get an instance of the first player that we want to teleport. So first player. Um, player player to send so this is going to be the player that we must send to the other player so bucket dot get player and we're just going to provide the name and that's going to be the first argument as you can see here so let's just go ahead and get the first argument like we did before and then of course let's get the target player so player let's just get rid of this um, so player target and it's going to be bucket get player and instead of the first argument this time it's going to be the second argument or the one index right so what that's going to do is get an instance of both players that we want to teleport to each other. And so now let's try teleporting them, right? So we want to do player to send dot teleport because we're teleporting that player to the target. So we're going to teleport them to that target location just like that. So we just got the target and teleported them, right? Uh, we'll teleport the player to the target, actually. So as you can see here under the get location and the teleport methods, we have a basically a warning and that says method invocation get location may produce null pointer exception right and so what this is is just it's basically just an error saying that if the player does not exist or you know the location does not exist or something like that then that means it's going to return null pointer exception okay but i'll show you an example of that in a second but first let's just go ahead and test out the command to see if it works right so to do that we need to register the command within the main class here so we're going to call it tp set executor new teleport Oops, not teleport plugin, teleport, because that's the that's the uh, class we're using for the teleport command, of course. So now we need to just go into our plugin.yml and register it again. Um, so commands, tp, description, teleport, players, right? Very simple, but well, that's what we're going to do. And so now let's go ahead and run the Maven here so we can compile the plugin and output it so we can get the jar file for it. So, yep, yeah, let's just wait for this to load. And I'll be right back. Okay, so now it's done and we can do show and explore so it's going to open up the folder now we can open this grab the plugin go to our test server drop it in the plugins folder and then start the server so when this starts up and i'll, I'll join the server and i'll be right back all right so i'm on the server here as you can see actually let me join with my other account joining boom so now we're joining and so now we have my two accounts on so let's try teleporting so we'll do slash tp it says you need to enter some arguments to teleport yourself to slash tp other player or teleport others oops i put a capital s by accident uh, tp player other player right so it works perfectly for the option with no arguments but now let's try doing the first one where we can teleport to another player so we're going to do teleport rights power 90 and as you can see here we have teleported to my other account which uh i don't know where he is but let's see oh he died <laughs> rest in peace so yeah, we teleported to him. Let's do it again. And as you can see here, we're teleporting to the other account, right? So that works, but now let's go ahead and uh, try doing it, or teleporting him to me, basically. So we can do that like this. So teleport, rise power 90, Illuminati, and now he has been teleported to me, as you can see here. And that works perfectly, right? So both those commands worked um, very nicely, but now let's see what happens when we provide a player, or try teleporting to a player that does not even exist, right? So let's go ahead and do teleport, or TP, I mean. Wait, did I do teleport last time? Anyway, wait. Oh, I did by accident. Okay, let's do TP instead. Just to make sure it works. Yeah, so it still works perfectly, right? Um, because teleport is going to be probably from the Minecraft itself, but the TP command is from me, right? Hopefully that makes sense. But anyway, let's go ahead and try doing the wrong thing now. So TP, like that. And as you can see here, it says an internal error has um, occurred. So now let's open the console and see what happens. So we get this big error it says unhandle exception executed command TP and player uh, plugin teleport plugin, right? So if we look down here, it tells exactly what the problem was. It says null pointer exception caused by null pointer exception. And it also tells us what line the error occurs on. So line 26. So if we go to line 26 in our plugin here, back here, line 26, 26. So that's the teleport line right here. So basically the problem is we're trying to teleport to a, play, a player that does not even exist, right? So what we can do here, since it produces no points or exception when the player does not exist, let's go ahead and 
just handle the exception, right? So we'll do try, and then we can catch the error if it happens. So we'll do null pointer exception. Oops, null pointer exception e, and then we'll simply say player .send message if the exception occurs, of course. Player .send message. Um, we'll do it in red. So check color dot red, like that. Player does not exist. So since the null pointer exception occurred, we know that the get location method was unable to run. So we're going to send the player a message or an error saying player does not exist, right? All right, so let's go ahead and set up the null pointer exception handler for the other part of the command, which is going to be for the two arguments. So basically, we'll just do the same thing. We'll just move it here uh, like this. So try, oops, uh, wait, let's fix that. Yeah, there we go. So try, put that in there. Now we'll catch the exception, null pointer exception. E, and then we'll simply tell the player if it went wrong. Well, uh, player does not exist, right? So we'll just copy this to be honest, because I'm lazy. It's really the same piece of code, but anyway, um, let's go ahead and try running that to see if it works. All right, so we're back on the server. I just reloaded, so let's try doing it. So TP, boom, player does not exist, right? That works perfectly. So now let's try doing the other one. So TP Illuminati rise power 90. That still works, but let's do a random thing now. So Illuminati like that. And then let's try it the other way. So Illuminati is going to be correct, but Rice Power is not going to be correct. So it works perfectly now. If one of the players do not exist, then it's going to let the person know who's running the command. And yeah, so that's very simple. I know that's very simple, but let's go ahead and add one more feature to this plugin, which we can. Um, well, it's a feature that is available in Essentials. I know this, but it's basically just a simple command where you do slash tp all. And what it does, it teleports all the players on the server to your location. All right, so let's go ahead and create a class for that because we need to do that obviously to make it work. So in commands, we'll make a new Java class. We'll call it teleport all. And let's go ahead and let's implement command executor like that. Uh, and then we'll do this on command return true. And now let's check and see if the player is executing it. So if sender instance of player like that, now we'll get an instance of player, player, player. I know we've done this like a million times, but oh well. So player sender, okay. So now what we need to do is if they execute command slash tp all, we need to get every single player on the server and then teleport them to me basically, right? So we need to somehow loop through every player on the server. That's, um, it's not that hard, but let me show you. It's pretty simple. So it's just what a simple for loop. That's how you loop, of course. So player p, so for player p, and then we're gonna use this bucket dot get server and then get online players. So basically what it's gonna do is loop through every single player that is returned from this method here, which is going to get all the players on the server. And then it's going to assign a variable to each of those players every time it loops, right? So now we can access the player in that whatever iteration of the loop it is in, right? So we can access that player and let's go ahead and teleport them to my location, right? So location, not that, get location. So that's, so that's pretty simple, but now let's go ahead and also, so that's just very simple actually, but the hard part, not really hard, but the most complicated part, of course, is looping looping through all of the online players, which is done with this uh, loop statement here, for statement, for loop, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, let's go ahead and um, register this within our main class here. Uh, get command, tpl, executor, new teleport, all. Okay. Then of course we need to add it to the plugin.yml. So tpl, description, teleport all the players, teleports all the players to your location. Okay, anyway, um, so let's try running this. Oops, not that, let's see if it works now, okay. All right, I'm back on the server, so let's go ahead and try out the command, slash tp all, and as you can see here, it teleported all the players to me. Of course, there's only one player on the server, but still it works just as fine. Um, so now let's go ahead and add uh, one more feature. So basically what we want to do is uh, check and see if there's more than one player on the server because if there's more than one player on the server that means that there's more than just me. So if there's more than one player on the server and let's, then we can teleport them to me like we just did. But if there's only one player on the server, just me, then we don't have to, we don't have to run this command basically, right? So let's just go ahead and check and see if that's the case. And if so, then you know then it'll teleport other players obviously, right? So all you need to do here is just cut this to control X to cut it. And now let's make an if statement saying bucket dot get server dot get online players. Uh, if the size is equal to one, that means that there's only one player on the server, right? So we're gonna we'll, we'll actually we'll so we're just gonna tell them that there's not enough players on the server. So 
We'll put this in green. Actually, wait. Eh. Yeah, we'll put it in green. So, check color green. There. We'll just say no other players are on right now. So it can't teleport other players. And so now we'll say else, else if bucket dot get server dot get online players dot size is bigger than one. So if, if it's bigger than one, that means that there's other players on the server. So then we'll just teleport them like that. And then let's tell let's tell me basically how many players were teleported after it's done. So player dot send message chat color yellow. So chat color yellow yellow like that. Um, teleported all. Um, and let's get a number of the, how many players are teleported. So we're just going to we're gonna go up here. Wait, where do we want this? We'll put it right here. So int number of players is equal to zero. And then it's going to add on to that every time it runs. So plus plus. So teleported all number of players. Players to E. Okay. So that, this is just a statement letting you know how many players were teleported to you after it's done teleporting all the players. Very simple. But we also have to keep in mind that it's going to give you, let's say there's two players on the server, including you. We have to we have to keep in mind that it's going to say teleported all two players to you, which is going to include you. So we want to make it minus one. So it does not keep you as one of the players that were teleported to you, right? Very simple. Just a simple fix for that. Just, you know, subtract it. Make sure you have parentheses here. Because I believe it's gonna mess it up if you don't have that. Because you know order of uh, operations and all that fun stuff, it might work. But just do that just in case. But anyway, now that we have that, let's try testing it out to make sure that it works. Okay, so it's reloading. Now it's reloaded. So we'll do slash tpl, and it says teleported all one players to you, which is gonna be rice power ninety, my other account. But let's let's have him log out, and then we'll run the command. So we can test and see if that if statement worked to see if there's more than one player, of course. So we just have CPL and it says no other players are on there are on right now, right? So yeah, it works. Very simple plugin that I made for you. You can teleport players now. Pretty cool. Um, hopefully you found that very interesting. If you have any questions about what I did, you could ask a question in the comment section below. I'll be glad to help you. Or we have a Discord link. There's a Discord link in the description, so make sure you join it. We have over a hundred people in the server. A lot of people are helping out, so if you have any questions you could ask there, it will probably help you, okay? So anyway, um, also, wait, one more thing is that all the code from today's episode is going to be in the description below. So make sure you check it out. And uh, all the code will be on GitLab in case you want to see it, okay? So make sure you bookmark that for future use. And anyway, if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And peace.